Buenos dias, David. Buenos dias, Tina. Gracias. I'm pretty sure I'm seeing rooster fish crashes about a half a mile off the beach. So I'm gonna take this kayak and give it a try. Hopefully they stay up. I saw big, big crashes about five minutes ago. Black calm. Got a float on my rod in case I drop it overboard. No rod holders on this kayak. No foot pedals like the Hobie. But it'll be good enough. Some bait fish right there. School of some sort of bait. And we're off. Nice. I brought plenty of sunblock. Be nice if I had long sleeves and long pants, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna have to load up on the sunblock. Get absolutely fried out here today. All right, rooster fish, where are you? Right, just get situated here. Not too much space. Probably put the bag behind me. All right, I got my fish grip. I'll get that out. That will be for the sun. Help protect my face from the sun. Should have some pliers in here. Yep. Okay, got the pliers. And I think that's probably pretty good for now. handy. All 
right, now we just go wait for the roosters and the big jacks to show up again. They were just right out over in this general area. I could see them from my cabina. Huge, huge crashes. Looked like bluefin tuna type crashes. Big, big, huge fish. Hopefully it happens again. Got a frigate bird flying. Got two frigate birds flying right above me. Oh, maybe you can see him. He's looking right at me. <clears throat> it's always good to be fishing around those birds. Usually they're they're looking at something. They pluck the sardines off the surface when the the rooster fish, the jacks, and the mackerels scare the sardines to the surface. And then those frigate birds swoop down and just pluck the bait. More or less just waiting for something to show up. Those frigate birds are definitely looking at something. I gotta get ready to make a cast. Something might be about to happen here. Whoa! Whew. It's had some sort of fish. I don't know if it was a Spanish mackerel. It just went completely airborne. Frigate birds directly above me. Probably worth making a cast here. Right now I'm just using a Halco Rooster popper. It's about two and one quarter ounces. You can see it's a pretty beat up from a few fish that I've caught on it already. This thing throws a ton of water. So you can pop it, you know, like a normal popper or you can just reel it straight Reel it straight back in as fast as you can and it creates a pretty cool bubble trail in the water.
So this, this is the uh, straight retrieve. Creates that bubble trail. And then of course, you can always just do the regular, you know, popper retrieve. Throws a lot of water. Oh boy. We just had some monster fish come right up. Right under these birds, right here. Absolute monsters, whatever the heck they were. I'm guessing they were big roosters or just huge, huge jacks. They're around. Holy cow. I wish I could have gotten those crashes on video. Whew. Those were some big, big fish. Big fish. Come on, come back up. Holy shit. look at all these rooster fish right here. There's a school of them right here. Man, excuse my language. They just swam right by the boat. There's one right there. Come on, turn on. Come on. Look at that. Oh, look at them. They're right below the boat. There's a couple. Oh, I hope you can see them. Wow, look at that rooster fish. Oh my God. I should probably be fishing, but I mean, how many chances do you get to do this? They're just circling around the kayak. This is insane. <laughs> They're still right here beneath the kayak. Oh my gosh, he's right here. Holy cow, can you see those fish? Un unbelievable. like 20 rooster fish just going around in circles beneath a kayak I mean they're humongous they're still right here I think I just need for them to, you know, turn the feed back on and just come, come back to the surface because they don't seem very interested in my popper.
they seem very attracted to the kayak drawn to the kayak they started feeding holy cow look at those freaking boils oh i need to get over there stay up guys stay up Don't be tied up in this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There we go. I think they're still on the surface over here. Oh, look at that fish. They're right here. Will one of you guys please hit my popper? <laughs> oh, I just swam right, swam right up to me again. Oh my God, look at all these. Oh! Come on, still hit it. Oh my gosh, come on. Find the popper. Come on, find it, come up. Oh, come on. Holy cow. They're right here still. Oh my God. I was just paddling along and then I saw this frigate bird start to dive bomb right at the kayak and I turn around, the roosters were just going nuts, exploding on the surface. Oh, right off the bow. Oh, this is my best chance yet. Come on. I think you, is there one behind it? Oh, we went for it. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, what a ridiculous hit. You've got to be kidding. Oh, look at the whole school of them. Whole school of roosters. Oh, now I just got to hold on for dear life. Oh my God, what a hit. Holy cow. This is like the most exciting thing I've ever done, fishing-wise. Oh. All right, calm down, calm down. Oh my God. What a hit. That was hands down one of the best moments ever fishing for me. Ow. Oh, holy cow. What a monster rooster fish. I reverse on my reel. It's been giving me some issues. Holy cow. What a hit. Unbelievable. This is just unbelievable. To be able to do this 
launch a kayak from the beach, paddle out. I mean, this rooster fish, I don't know how big he is, but there's definitely some 50 plus pounders in there. Definitely worked hard for this opportunity. I really wish my anti-reverse was working. That's all right. Just happy to be hooked up. I'm getting pulled all over creation right now. Man, this is a powerful fish. Really powerful fish. Oh, he's coming up. Just insane. I can't believe it. Wow, it's hot out here. Look at that rod. I gotta be careful, these fish are so powerful. If I bring them in too green with too much energy, it's got to be a nightmare having this guy on the side of the kayak. And then on the other hand, I don't want to spend, you know, too, too much time with them because I want to be able to release them in good shape. All right, I just got to focus on getting this guy in. I got color. He's still got a lot of energy. Wow, a ton of energy. Don't want to lose my paddle. Spinning around in circles. Oh my God, what a powerful fish. Seriously like battling a tuna. These guys are such good fighters. Got color on him. Wow, that's a big freaking rooster fish. <laughs> My God, this guy's so strong. Oh wow, he's coming right up. Holy cow, what a fish. 
Oh my God, look at him. Oh, he inhaled the popper. This has got to be challenging to unhook him. Wow, he just kind of came up out of nowhere. Just gave right up. Jeez, that was bizarre. I hope he's okay. He just like gave up. I don't know, he might have. He might have just died on me. Nope. He's very alive. Okay, just had a moment of confusion or something there. Jaw's so huge, I don't even know if this is gonna work. I'm trying to help you, buddy. God, his mouth's enormous. Okay, I got a grip on him. I can't bring him up on the kayak, he's gotta flip it. Okay. gotten hooked by one of these guys before. I gotta do this so carefully. Oh, man, he freaking inhaled it. Oh. Can you help me out here, buddy, and not shake too much? I'm afraid to put my, my hand down there. Crap, I wish I had big, pli long needle nose pliers. Get hooked so deep. Oh man, I don't like this. Shh. How can I do this safely without flipping over or a whole host of Poor scenarios. And the good news is he's not bleeding much. At least I'm able to keep him wet in the water. Just don't shake. Please don't shake. Don't shake. There's more roosters exploding on the surface behind me. Don't shake, buddy, don't shake. Yes, that's big. I can't believe it, look at this fish. I don't know how big he is. He's, 
got to be close to 50 pounds, if not 50. That is an unbelievable fish. This guy needs some time to get his life back, that's for sure. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come back to life. Come on back. All right, here we go. Starting to kick a little bit. Come on. What an amazing fish. Come on, buddy. I know you can do it. back to life. I'm hoping he'll come back to life here. I, mean, I didn't spend too, too long fighting him. He is kicking slightly. What a huge fish. Here we go, here we go. Yes, come back to life, come back to life. <laughs> He's coming back to life, come on. Keep kicking, keep kicking, keep kicking. Come on. He's catching his breath, getting his breath back. Yep, come on. Keep kicking. He's definitely coming back to life. This is great. This is good. Just don't want to rush. Strong fish, incredible. Yep, keep swimming. Come on. Yes, this is good. Very good. Keep coming. Keep coming. 
It's almost ready, I think. Yeah, come on. Yeah, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. There he goes. He's going he's going straight down. Come on. He's coming back out. Gotta have to spend more time with him. He is gaining life. He's gaining life with every minute, passing minute here. He wasn't even moving a few minutes ago, so this is good. Keep swimming. Keep swimming. Come on. Keep swimming. Unbelievable. Come on, baby. Look at that dorsal fin. Come on, keep swimming. Keep swimming. That might be it. He may have just swam away. I've got to paddle up a little bit and just make sure he's okay, but I think he's got to be all right. Yeah. Oh no, there he is. Come on, baby. Keep keep kicking. You can do it. It's like you went back down. That was the most insane fish I've ever caught from a kayak. The good news is I think he's gotta be all right. He just swam down. It's so calm, I'll be able to see him pretty easily if he pops back up. I'm probably about a mile and a half off the beach. Wow, what an experience. Costa Rica, man. What an experience. And I'm happy that fish, I think he's gotta be okay. Wow. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Wow. Tight lines. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.